When I founded the Sharon Festival, I did not want to stay Israel. I didn't want to stay Palestine. I don't believe there is any room for politics in the kitchen. As someone that burned as a Palestinian and live here as an Israeli, this stuff make you confused who you are, who you want to be. I don't give a f that he's Arab. Like, he doesn't give a f that I'm a Jew. The only thing we're going to give a f is about making art. What do you say? I want Arabic salad, I want Israeli salad. Who owns this salad? Sometimes you find yourself like thinking, what is politically correct to order? Ochel is ochel, anashim and anashim. What do you call this? It's not important. Hey, Ninety percent of people in Israel, they want to live together. And the ten percent making it to the headlines. This is what's missing. We don't know each other enough. The difference between strangers to enemies is too small. I think they should have given chefs to make peace in the world. Food can bring us together. No, food can bring the first step. So this is the only way, small steps. And from there, it depends on what we choose. Ah, uh, you're, you're gonna use food to bring uh, world peace. No, I'm gonna use food to change a few people. That's it, but if you change a few people and other people would do the same, then maybe we will succeed together to do some kind of a huge change. <laughs>